Hi dear loves, I'm Nicole and welcome to our spiritual guidance for March 17th, 2017. Thank you so much Heavenly Angels for blessing our space, our direction. Thank you so much. Ooh, I'm hearing it's coming. There it is. Oh my, Archangel Japhael, the angel of beauty. And honey, if you've been feeling those red flags that we've been seeing, it's time for you to really honor your self-value. Go back to our daily spiritual guidance that we've been, we've been receiving that. We saw it yesterday. Red flags have popped up to remind you of your self-worth. And this is in relation to any relationship, whether it be with your child, your parent, your siblings, okay? Um, I just had to part ways with a brother of mine. And it's not easy. Yet, it's not the most difficult thing that I have experienced and will experience. And so this is being reminded that to that pathway of inner peace, there's many pathways and you're on the right path. And so tough love comes very difficult. I just, I just spoke that to one of our beautiful spiritual superstars who is experiencing that as a parent. So remember, there's many different paths, but look at how far we've come. Over the mountains, through the woods, through the pasture, and Archangel Raphael is the angel of beauty. Reminds us of going out outdoors so that we can see the beauty within creation and be reminded of that. But to be positive, optimistic, you're manifesting great things. And I encourage everyone to invest in self and get on board with our workshops of manifestation. We go through very, you know, specifically and detail on how I have manifested everything in my life and it is it is a there's a pathway there 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 are secrets there that we all have at our disposal so don't give up don't get fixated on the outcome so much I feel that you don't enjoy the process the journey wish upon that star but when you have 17 here, it's coming full circle. You're on the road to manifestation and you're on that creation, that creative path, that, that one path that is new, it's fresh. It requires a certain amount of vulnerability. And seven is the spiritual, the spiritual meaning to seven is that you're being divinely led to go on this path that is laced with blessings and fortune so keep your thoughts high and this is also combining the spiritual energy of karma. So you've done some good things and some things that you've done that haven't had your integrity are coming up. But here's the thing, you get a do-over. So just know that when you're making these chances, these changes rather, you're on the right path and you're doing things that are out of your comfort zone. But know that you're not missing anything in the long run, okay? You've got, you can take it the easy way or you can go through all of these paths that are false starts, but you still get to your goal. These false starts are not failures. When you think positively and optimistic, they are your stepping stones. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Woo! All right. Ooh, Archangel Azriel. Okay, you're a natural counselor, healer, light worker. People come to you all the time. You're on that spiritual awakening phase. Stay on your path. A spiritual awakening is understanding that you're a soul within a body. That's my definition of, it, of a spiritual awakening. And so each moment you receive your spiritual guidance, you're going to receive it from our archangels, which are angels at the highest station, appointed by our, our creator. And Archangel Azrael is the angel of death. And that's ascension. That's transition. That is enlightenment, growth. 
And what unfolds now is pulling you to this future manifestation. You're pulling it to your now. So remember, not everyone that comes to you is worthy of every little bit of you. So you're going to be, I feel like many of you are going to be called on to serve as their spiritual guidance. And that's it. You're called to, to give them the message and to move on. And you're going to be receiving that too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I feel like, you know, as you're ascending on to your higher station, to your higher, your higher consciousness, you're understanding how to be best utilized along your journey to bless other people. And sometimes you have to let go of some people in order for that to happen. In order for you to serve, because I feel many of you are like, oh my gosh, there's something more to this. Like I could be doing so much more. And I could have this happy vision that's on my soul if I let go of this one person, these people, these circumstances, this situation, this way of doing it. There's a pattern changing and developing. Thank you so much. And this is being reborn with Archangel Azriel. Whoa! See, look at this, please. Okay? Some of you are being guided to seek mediation from professional resources, trusted sources, and consult with each other. If you're single or coupled up, Sharing your thoughts and feelings open you up to the greater possibilities that Source has in store for you right now. There's some change in the air. And this is all coming full circle. So whether you were the one that was always arguing, you're in that toxic bond, just going at it with each other, now you're making some positive, optimistic changes. You don't always have to break up from the, the relationship itself. You're not breaking up from the person all the time. You're breaking up from that toxic energy. So though some of you are, you know people come to you, they, they come for advice. You're the advice giver. You're the listening ear. You have a need for that, you dear earth angel and light worker out there. Sometimes you have to guard yourself away from the toxic energy. So speak your peace because that is you serving in that capacity. You're doing your job, but then leave it and pull back and walk away. Thank you so much. It's very important. I'm doing a hosting a angel and spiritual guidance um, oracle training workshop. And you were, you're certified in this workshop under my umbrella. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Because a part of it, a big, big part of it, is teaching you how to guard yourselves when you are in a spiritual-based business. So whether or not you're willing to give yourself accurate, loving, tender guidance um, that is channeled from the spirit realm, I'm going to teach you that. And whether or not you're doing this for clients, for, for money, because just, your, just because you're in a spiritual-based business doesn't mean you have to be broke. You should be flourishing and thriving. I am, and I'm still serving on a heightened capacity. Okay, Spirit doesn't want us to be surviving and struggling. Spirit wants us to thrive and flourish. And so I encourage you to click the links down below and get on board with that. Thank you so much. Because you can do it for yourself or for others or both, which is what I do. Thank you so much. So as a parent, my dear love out there, and I want to say Tina, spiritual superstar Tina, and anyone else feeling this pain of having to detach, part of the reason I detached from my brother, it happened during the lunar eclipse. Uh, we knew that that was coming. Remember, go back to our Leo lunar eclipse. Um, Spirit showed us that it was going to be something with uh, child-parent relationships sibling relationships there, healing the old childhood wounds. 
Well, there was always a crack in our relationship and that unfolded and uh, subsequently we are where we are um, and we have parted ways and that's how it's going to remain. When Venus is retrograde, these breakups that happen are karma. It is destined and a part of the big reason is because I have a boy and a girl to look after, to teach about their value, their self-respect, their standards, safe boundaries, healthy practices. And because as a parent, you have enough going on. You have to release yourself from toxicity. So whatever your situation is, that spirit is speaking to you about, whether you're moving on to receive this blessing of motherhood or whether you are healing the wounds from your relationship with your mother, whether she's, whether she's passed on or in this dimension, in this density we live in, you're still healing and you're on the right path of your spiritual awakening. Spirit animals have been coming up, so I really want to ask for our spirit guides to come in and I'm going to pull three look at this. platypus stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life complaining also comes in just not having gratitude just being thankful when you wake up thank you just breathing in thank you thank you thank you look at this who is this Accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. The manatee, exactly what I'm experiencing also. And I'm glad that I'm able to share that with you all. Thank you so much. And just saying how you feel, speaking your truth and saying, you know, I feel, I feel sad about this. I feel, you know, but I feel empowered in my faith that I'll be okay. This is a good time to go on a new adventure with the spirit of the Emu. So keep those long-term plans. Happy times are ahead. You've gone through a lot and there's many roads to get there. Pull away from the toxicity. And remember, we've got the angel of transformation here. Take great care, my dear loves. Please like, comment, subscribe, become a spiritual superstar, and share our channel. We want to reach 100,000 100, plus spiritual superstars by the end of 2017. And I know that with your help, we can get there. Love you. I'll see you soon.